Check one, two. Go, go. Curious about real estate? Yes. Then you've come to the right place. Get the knowledge you need. Get over the fear and get started. Hello? Hello, this is Ryan. I'm calling to speak to Dominic. Oh, who's this? You had called the wrong number. Who's this? This is Ryan, purchase manager at 1-800-SELL-FOR-CASH. Who? Oh, Ryan? yeah, 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 yeah. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing one good. Second, How are second. you? Just hold on one second, please. Uh, okay. Hello? 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 Hey. Hi. Hi, Dominic? Yes, ma'am. Hi, Dominic. This is Ryan. You spoke to Alex on the phone about your interest in selling your house? Right. Yes, and I was calling back to verify that all the information we have is correct so that we can come to an agreement to purchase your property. Is this a good time? Um, um, say that one more time to me. Say it one more it, time. Is this, is this a good time to verify that all the of your information is correct so that we can yes, come to is. an agreement it's, it's, to purchase your property? Yes, it's okay, John. We can, we can do that. <laughs> Perfect. And in case we get disconnected, is this phone number the best number to call you back on? Correct, correct. Okay, yes, and um, would you happen to have alternate contact number where we can reach you? Say it one more time. Would you happen to have an alternate contact number where we can reach you at? No, ma'am. That's the number you can reach me at. All right, and Dominic, would you happen to have an email address where we can email you our offer to purchase your house? Not at the moment, but Not I'll be working moment. on it. Okay. I got to get my son to set it up for me. Okay. Or maybe my daughter set it up for me, my email address. Have your, when, and, and whenever. Right. Say it again, and, now. Whenever your daughter or your son does help you set it up, you can always just give us a call and we can update your information. Okay, cool. And you did call us because you have a house you're hoping to sell, yes? Yes. That's fantastic. We're definitely looking for another house to buy right now. And the property is not currently listed with the real estate broker, correct? Correct. Okay. And the address of the house you're hoping to sell is 3908 Avenue? Correct. In Maryland? Right. Okay. And it looks like we would need to assume about $2,000 worth of repairs or upgrades. Is that correct? Um, that's a rough estimate. Now we're probably nowhere near that much, but that's my rough estimate. If, you, if a... you're going to do it yourself, see, I, I'm going to do it myself, guys, so it probably would take me like 500 Probably being <laughs> I'm a do it myself guy, you know. Yeah, most everything. likely we would hire contractors. Um, so if we hired a contractor to do the work, it'd be about 2000 More than likely, or less. And here's another thing while we're at it. I am a licensed construction contractor. If you ever need my work, not just here, but somewhere else, anywhere in the Baltimore City area, I am available. Okay, so I'm I will throw actually, that in there. and that's not a problem. We do take recommendations from our sellers, so I will write your number down. Um, this you. way, just in case, and I can hand this information off to our transaction coordinator. And you said you're a licensed contractor and construction worker? Yes, ma'am. All right. Okay. Um, let me see. I got the address. Here. Okay. Now, you know, um, Dominic, there are a lot of factors and reasons which make a difference on how much time we have and how much money we will need when we buy the house. For example, excuse me, I'm are there sorry. Any... I'm, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of working, so we can still talk, but I was sweat on the phone, so I just wiped the phone at the time you were talking because you weren't talking, but when I started wiping, you started talking. So I didn't hear exactly what you said at the last point. Can you repeat that, please? <laughs> That's okay. I said there's a lot of factors and reasons which make a difference on how much time we have and how much yeah, right. money we will need when we buy your house. For example, yes, yes. are there any serious damages? Is there something wrong with the house? Are there any court orders or deadlines we need to meet? Is the house no. just too small or are there any neighborhood problems? And many other no. examples. So can you see how important it is for us to know your reason for selling? And as a home buyer, yes, you'd want yes. to know too, right? Yes, ma'am. I can tell you right now. If you let me know when you're ready, I'll let you know why I want to sell. Go ahead. What is causing you to want to sell your property? Oh, the first reason is I was born and raised around here. It's time for a new, a new, uh, it's time for a change. Okay. A different area. 
Everyone around here, you leave out your house, everybody's like, hey, 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 you come up and see me, and then see what you have again. It's just a long story, a dragged out story with that. But I come in a little financial strength, so I can use a couple of dollars, and I was just living in a different area, you know. Sure, so that's the main reason why. You're getting married? No, I said that's the main reason why. Oh, I thought you were going to you were getting married. married. I was going to say congratulations. Oh, no. <laughs> so, Hopefully no so, time soon. I've never been married yet, and I don't know I may one day in the future, but this is not right at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> not right now. Mm-hmm. Right now it's just time for a change. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we can definitely yeah. we can definitely help you with that, Dominic. And what have you done so far to try and sell your house? Um, nothing really. I just got it actually. I just dawned on me one day when uh, an old, 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 old friend, only was a friend, showed me how jealous he could be, and just started getting on my nerves. So I decided um, I didn't want to deal with him anymore. So and then <laughs> you know, I out. just want to change. Right. You know, have you ever been in a situation that you have everybody you know around you and everybody in your business and everybody want to know what you're doing and everybody talking about yeah. you? And, sometimes you know, it's like the opposite of you know, you know, you know? Yeah, sometimes you want to go where nobody knows your name. Where nobody knows your name. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So do you have to sell this house in order to buy the next one? No, 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 no. Not really. Because, uh-huh. um... For the simple fact that I got to more than just one house, you know, I just want to get this, give it this, and move into the other one, you know, pretty much. And it's all right, already well, fixed up. I don't have to do anything to it. I already got it all ready to go, really. And well, um, really and truly, it's already rented uh, the one here uh, by, of course, the family member. And I just want to leave it with them, or or not. Depends on what the situation is with you guys. How it turns out. Well, that actually makes us the perfect buyer for you because we're not looking for a house to live in. We can buy your house and close on the date of your choice. And with that being said, when would you say is this the soonest you'd be able to sell your house and close escrow by? Ma'am? When is the soonest you would be able to sell your house and close escrow by? It depends on um, how soon you guys are ready to buy. So you... Maybe the next month or two. Maybe the next month, maybe. You would be able to close in the next 20 to 30 days? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Perfect. And what's going to happen if it doesn't sell? I know you said you had a family member renting it from you right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, what I would do is I'd I'd, I'd put that little $500 into it and just rent it out and still move. (laughs) Okay. All right. Sounds like you're ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready to go. <laughs> and it looks like in an as is condition, the house is worth about fifty thousand dollars, and in perfect condition, it's worth about seventy. Easy, easy. Okay. Well, it fluctuates around here. Sometimes more, sometimes less. Year as it goes along, you know. Right, right. So, um, Dominic, are you aware of how expensive it is and all the costs involved with selling a house like yours to a traditional buyer, including the cost of yes. real estate? <laughs> So, um, how much would you say it would cost you to sell this house through uh, to a traditional buyer? To a traditional buyer with mm-hmm. title search and all the other things that's involved in it. Yeah. How, how how expensive it would be? Probably just yep. for title search and and kind of closing costs and and um, depends on whether they qualify for the loan they may need or if they have cash. That's cool. If not, that's going to be their situation dealing with it. You know. Right. Um, so. How- but how much do you think it would cost you to sell to a traditional buyer? Well, it depends. Like, for example, like my cousin living in there, he didn't get it. I rent it to them, and I put it on um, lease to buy, you know, I buy lease to buy, you know, and, I, and that's real simple for them where they can take their time and um, pay it like they're paying a monthly rent and just buy it like that. I'll be having to put down a maybe a substantial deposit, maybe somewhere like 5000 you know, better uh-huh. than that, maybe 10000 It's It's kind of what they're working with, by saying family. And then from there, they'll pay a monthly, um, you know, lease to own a fee of mortgage fee of maybe, let's say, anywhere from 600 $700 a month. Depends on what we're working with, you know, what I'm willing to agree with on that credit line, you know. Okay. So would you say it would, if you were selling this house through a real estate agent, would you say it would be more or less than $20,000? For you to sell this house, how much it would cost? Oh, way less than that. 
Do you think it's a... Probably, right? probably 5000 10000 Well, it depends on the individual. And okay. based on what you're asking me, it's like, it really depends on the, the seller and the buyer and what they're working with as far as what their credit is like and what they're willing to, you know, how much they're willing to... Well, you know for a fact it's going to be a down payment if they can't buy it flat out with a mortgage. You know, you know, get a loan and a mortgage. So, mm -hmm. A loan and a mortgage with a closing clause, cost of probably around about all together, uh, the price of the property and probably a $5,000 closing cost, all together probably six, excuse me, I'm sorry, 6500 with the title search and all of that. Okay, so you figure about 6500 All right, so, yeah. and there's no mortgage on this house that we would need to pay off, right? Not at all. Not at right. all. There's no... No um no loans, no no debts, no um um as you say, no um how you put it, um there's no um city or state or no. any of of the sort, um minimum warranty times where I have to get it fixed or finished. There's no um you know how do you say repair orders or oh, yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Repair orders, there's no loans, there's no liens, there's no tax owed, taxes are paid up. In current. Okay. Um, there's a water old so I'm good. All right. So let me tell you a little bit about what we do, Dominic. We okay. buy houses like yours all of the time, and we pay all mm -hmm. the costs. Things like real estate commissions, title insurance, escrow fees, transfer tax, mm -hmm. termite clearance, mm -hmm. roof certification. The list goes on and on. We pay all of the fees. And we buy them in an as-is condition, so we are going to assume the responsibility for all the needed repairs, whether we have seen right. them already or not. And one of mm -hmm. the positive factors about selling us your house is that you or whoever is living in it, like your cousin, can stay in it for as long as you as they need to, and we can get you your money on the date of your choice. We will also pay cash when we buy your house, so you can have the peace of mind knowing that it's sold. Not only sold, but sold to someone who can afford to buy it, because we don't have to rely on a bank to qualify your house, nor do we need mm -hmm. to beg them for a loan and risk them changing their minds at the last minute. Believe me, there's nothing more frustrating than seeing a deal break down in escrow, and that is not going to happen to you. Isn't that really what you want? That's the truth. Yes, that is. <laughs> I want easy, fast, and cash. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we can do about that. So, uh, oh, Dominic, what were you hoping to yes. sell your house for? The uh -huh. net amount that you would receive to put in your pocket after all the repair and update costs have been considered uh -huh. and after all of your seller's closing costs have been subtracted. This is what we call the walk-away money. I Go ahead and share with question. me, Dominic. I'm not sure, but I surely would like to sell it as soon as possible because I hate this area, really. I've been living around here all my life. And I'm just tired. I need a change of area, scenery, people, everything. You know what I mean? Yes, I, I, was I do. I'm thinking about moving to Florida because I got a place down in Florida. I was thinking about moving down there in that property. I had to rent it out right now, but well, I wouldn't have any problem giving a 60-day notice and moving right down in there. <laughs> well, Florida would definitely be a change from Baltimore. So, what's yeah, the least absolutely. amount of cash you would take? What's the least amount of cash you would take, Dominic? Net in your pocket. Oh, in my pocket. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't thought about that. I know the most I would take. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's... Five would be the most. Well, right. the least, I guess around, um, I don't know. I haven't given that much thought. The least amount. Uh, let's say 45, I don't know. 45,000? Well, knowing... Yeah, since we're paying all of your closing costs to sell, Dominic, is that the lease that you'll take? Um, it's negotiable. <laughs> <laughs> it's negotiable. I'll put it that well, way. We're also going to buy your house as is, and we're going to pay for all the necessary repairs or updates the house is going to need. Is that the lowest that you'll go? It's negotiable. Depends <laughs> on what we come up with in the end, you know. Uh, well, I would, no, like not say, I would like to say yeah, but... <laughs> A, dis a discouraging factor would be, no, oh, that's it. And a positive <laughs> factor would be, well, we're flexible, too. You know, okay. hearing you say, we're flexible, too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, knowing that we're going to buy your house now and take all your worry and stress away along with holding costs, waiting for mm -hmm. your house to sell, 
Can you help us by lowering your price a little bit more? Uh, forty. <laughs> forty thousand. Well, um, Dominic, would you consider twenty eight thousand dollars walk away net in your pocket? Ooh. How about thirty five walk away net in my pocket? You said thirty five? Okay. So are you saying that twenty eight thousand just wouldn't work for you? Twenty eight thousand. Ew. Um walk away how about thirty 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 four? <laughs> Walk away thirty four. So, Dominic, are you saying that at thirty four thousand dollars, you are committed to selling your property today? Right now. Mhm. Mm uh huh. Yeah. So, at, at thirty four thousand dollars, you are committed to selling your property to me today. Uh huh. Let's see. You know what, Dominique, I'm going to go ahead and take it to the board that's cutting it really, really close. But what's the number that you can meet me at? 45. Well, you <laughs> 30, went backwards. 34, 34, 34. <laughs> 34 I'm willing, absolute I'm for 34, and I'm doing that as a favor, really. Because I, you know, I really need that whole 45, but... I'm flexing for you. I'm, I think I can flex my muscles enough for you right now. Let's <laughs> take, take it to the board. Let me see what they think, and maybe I have to flex it up if you don't like it. I don't know. Oh, well, yes, you know what? Too. Let me take it to the board and see what I can do for you, but is 34000 the absolute lowest that you would go? Uh, probably absolutely yes. Okay. Yes. Based on this is a nice area, it's a nice house. I put a lot of work into it. It's nice. In tip top peak condition, but it's much better than a lot of houses around me. I've been inside of them in the yuck. <laughs> okay. You know, you know what? Hmm? You know what, Dominique? Let me take it to the board, see what I can do for you, and can I call you back in about 20 minutes either way? Okay, cool. All right, I'll call you back in about 20 minutes, Dominique. Thank you for your time, right. and I'll call you in a little bit. All righty, thank you. All right, bye bye. bye, -bye. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm hmm. Good morning. Thank you for calling. This is Ryan. How may I help you? Hi, how are you? I was um, returning a call that I had to do yesterday. What do you got? May I ask who's calling, please? Sure. Uh, who's this? What is, what, what is this? Is this a, um, uh, we buy houses? Yes. May I ask who's calling? Yes, this is uh, Dominic. Hi, Dominic. I tried to call you back yesterday, and oh, I left hi. you a voicemail. I know I was on top of that hot roof repairing that roof, and by the time I got back in, I tried to call back, but, you know, it rang. So what I did was I stopped calling you back again today. So let's see. Give me just one second. I'm opening up your file. How are you okay. doing this morning? Oh, well, well, I'm just making all my calls before I leave out um, and finish off with the things that I was doing. But other than that, I'm fine. And yourself? I'm doing good. Good morning so far. Excellent. Hmm, so I thought that was you. Your voice sounded familiar, so that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me see. I made you an offer yesterday of $28,000, and you said you were going to think about that offer and where you were going to, where we could meet at. And I was saying, how about 34? You said you were going to call them and see what they, you know, how they felt about yes. it. They yes, and I, I was not able to get the 34000 approved. Like I said, it was really, really close. Um, but where can you meet me at, Dominic? Uh, I already really stretched it already. I mean... Can you imagine me paying sixty thousand for this? Can I imagine you? I'm taking a great loss. Well, I well, and I understand sometimes it's it's a little bit of a loss, but we really do want to help you relocate and get started on the next chapter in your life. So, how where can we can meet at, to, Dominic? How close can you get to thirty-four? How close can I get to thirty-four? Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, Dominic, where can you meet me at? Thirty-three. 
33,000. Uh, yeah, 33,000 is still cutting it really, really close. And I was already told that the absolute highest I can go is 28. Uh, oh, wow. Well, wow. Well. I have to think about that and get back to you because um, I'm, I, I didn't even call them. They called me. I got a cert, off of thirty, but I got to, you know, I'm not told them. I'd have to think about it too, but I don't want to be rude and accept before I talk back with you, though, you know. Um, you you said you received an offer from another company for thirty. They called me yesterday and then came by and looked at the place and everything like that. They asked if they could come by and meet, you know, some investors that came into town. Mm -hmm. And um, I told them, I let them come on by and check it out. And, you know, my office was 40. They said the best they could get me is 30. And I'm like, come on, man. And they 30, 40. was like, that's the absolute lowest. The most so you told them the life. same thing. You couldn't accept the 30. You really need that 34. I don't really do. Okay, Anywhere well. Anywhere close to at least 33. I'm going to do 30. I even do 32. Just to be, you know. Just, just so that we can, you know, you said the some kind of agreement. The absolute lowest you can go for me is the thirty-two thousand. If you can't give me that thirty-two thousand, I think that is fair. You know what? I'm not. I'm not sure if I can get that approved, but I will take it to the board for you and see what I can do. Mm -hmm. uh, Come on, it's me and you against the world. I know you can do it for me. <laughs> You know what, Dominic? Let me call you back. I I got to take this to the board. Like I said, I was I was given that highest price of twenty eight thousand that I offered you yesterday. Let me take it to the board and see what I can do for you. Okay? Like I said, we mm. want to help you out with your next chapter. Thank you. So give me a few, um, mm -hmm. and let me see what I can do for you. Okay? Yeah, we ain't you against the world here. I know we can do it. They might be in a better mood today. You know? <laughs> Some facts might have went okay. their way, and they might want to look out for me. All right, so Dominic, if I send you this purchase agreement for thirty two thousand, would you would you not consider um the other option with the other company? Yes. You're saying that you you said yes as in you would you would send me back that purchase agreement? Yes. Okay, so here's what I'll do. Um, I will go ahead and I'll send you out that purchase agreement for 32000